This is Pam Smith with Farm Journal Magazine. I'm here with Carl Bradley, University of Illinois plant pathologist, and we're in a uh, wheat field, and uh, we're looking at some wheat scab. Carl, can you tell us what we're seeing and, and uh, what growers should be thinking about? Sure. Yeah, unfortunately, we've got a lot of, uh, of head scab, uh, also known as fusarium head blight, uh, in, in southern Illinois uh, wheat fields especially. Last couple weeks, I've... Uh, uh, started a, a, a disease uh, uh, survey in, in southern Illinois fields and uh, could find scab in every field I've been in uh, with uh, varying levels of incidence and severity. So it's going to be a problem that uh, producers are going to deal with this year. Uh, unfortunately, there's nothing that can be done at this point in time. And so uh, it's important for, for growers to, to understand what scab looks like and to, uh, to know the type of problems it causes. Um, anybody that has a lot of scab in their field this year, I think the best thing they can do is when they go out to harvest is turn the fans, uh, the fan speed up as high as they can so they blow all the, uh, the low test weight and uh, infected kernels out the back of the combine and for a couple of reasons. You don't want to get discounts because of low test weight. But the other reason is the fungus that causes uh, scab uh, produces a toxin known as deoxynivalenol. And uh, if that toxin is found um, in uh, levels higher than two parts per million in the grain that you take into the elevator, you may get discounted uh, at the elevator for that, for those high, high uh, DON levels. So we certainly don't want to see that. Uh, some of the best management tactics all take place prior to planting. Um, choosing the right variety is very important. If you go to the... Uh, the University of Illinois uh, variety testing website. Uh, you can find some some information on um, how susceptible and how resistant some varieties are to scab. So that's the first thing a grower can do is uh, choose the right variety. Uh, another choice uh, that's made prior to planting is where they're going to plant that wheat. And if they're planting into corn stubble rather than soybean stubble, then the, the risk is definitely going to be a lot higher planting into that corn stubble because this fungus also causes a stalk and uh, ear rot of corn. And so the corn debris that's present there on the, on the soil surface is probably going to be already infested with this fungus. And so when you're planting right into it, you know that you're, you're going to increase uh, uh, the odds of having some scab out there. And then finally, fungicide, uh, using fungicides uh, can be another uh, tactic. Uh, if we've had uh, conditions that are favorable, uh, for scab, which would be uh, uh, very wet weather, uh, which we had this spring, um, just prior to uh, the wheat flowering through flowering. And uh, there is a website available um, through uh, Penn State University. It's uh, wheatscab.psu.edu, and it provides some uh, fusarium, risk, uh, uh, fusarium head blight risk uh, maps that are out there. And so a grower can go look and see what kind of risk they're dealing with, uh, which is based on uh, weather uh, that's occurring. So uh, the, the, for the best decisions to manage scab occur prior to planting, and then uh, if you need to apply a fungicide based on the conditions, then I think it's a good thing to do. We have a number of fungicides that are uh, fairly effective in controlling scab. Um, we do have, uh, I'm standing in a, in a field right now where we, we have a fungicide uh, test going on out here. And uh, in this trial, we do plant into corn stubble, and, and we do inoculate with the scab fungus. And you can see that we are having some scab uh, starting to develop here. The type of symptoms that we typically see with scab are uh, these heads that are affected, they're bleached out, and uh, this is a partial infection where we have about, oh, I'd say about 40% of that head is, is affected by the scab fungus. All right. Thank you very much.